How long have you been painting? Oh, it's hard to say. Uh, 74 is when I get into the society, so I would say uh, at least 15 years before that. So it's pretty much mo most of my life. I'm years? <laughs> <laughs> and Pro probably, probably 60 years. Mm. Yeah. And where do you find your inspiration for the pieces you paint? Uh, in in nature, in the, you know, it's it's a watercolor is about a, is about an emotion. It's about expressing an emotion, and you you can do it, I think, more easily in watercolor than in any other medium. See this painting right here? It's very it's a small painting, but it doesn't look like much. But it's when I when I when I go bird hunting in the fall, there's there's a place where. You know, after I'm through through hunting the cover, there's this old, very old pine tree. I always sit on it, and there's a little there's a branch that comes out this way, right near the bottom, which you can't see in this picture. And I sit there and smoke a Swisher Sweet, and uh, and just listen to the leaves fall, and then look at the autumn foliage. And if I have a bird in the in the uh, in the bag, that makes it even better. Uh, and then when leaving leaving there, I look back, and it was very late in the day, and I look back, and it just seems. The light was very low and everything was dark. It was so, and then this, the tree, just saying, you, you realize the tree's been there for 300 years, maybe even more. And it's, it's I don't know, sort of has a cathedral effect. I don't know if I've captured it here or not, but but that's that's what you try to do with all paintings. Is just try to uh, try to capture an emotion. This is uh, it's Good Harbor Beach in in Gloucester. We go there quite often. And this was in the fall when these rose hips are really. Brilliant. It was kind of a dull day, but seemed like something I could create a picture out of eventually, and that's what I'm going to do here, hopefully. And it's going to. What's going to happen is this. Hopefully, this is going to be in in strong color, and it's going to. This background will be muted and 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 you know distant, and hopefully it'll work. And uh, I, f I find that as I get older, I spend a lot a lot of time pondering over what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, and rather than just jumping right in. When I was younger, I just jumped right in and do it, but now I think about it a lot before I start. And sometimes you get a good result, sometimes you don't. Can you tell me about the piece that yeah, won the award? Yeah, that was a, a Back of McClunes, I think is the title. It's a, it's, it's a stone wall that leads up to this another old tree and the, the lighting and the, the texture and everything is, is speaks for itself. But it's it's a place where I've used to go bird hunting a lot, and now the the birds are pretty much gone. But uh, when I was there, when I took this photo from which the the uh, painting evolved, it was a uh, it's a place where I've often sat on that stone wall and, and looked at that. But I've t I took some liberties too because the barn the barn that's in the picture is not really visible from that angle, but I know it's there across the road, so I put the barn up in, in the foreground, even though it's in silhouette. And uh, it's just, uh, again, it, it, there's, a, there's a certain emotion that, this, that the scene inspires, and that's what I tried to capture. And where is that barn? It's, in, uh, it's up in uh, Dunstable, uh, it's sort of the dunstable Tingsboro line. It's called McLoon's Farm. There's a big barn he has there, and... Uh, they sell pumpkins in the fall. It's it's, uh, it's pretty much a landmark for people who live there, and I had permission to hunt on that land.